Right. Hey guys, it's Daniel here for Mobile Syrup, and we are here at uh, TELUS's headquarters in downtown Toronto, uh, showcasing some of the upcoming devices being launched on the network. As we know, the HTC One series is coming to TELUS in the form of the One S, and this is the One V. And we showed you the One V in hardware form when uh, we were in New York during Mobile World Congress, but this is the first time we've actually seen the One V running HTC since 4.0. So this is actually confirmed now that, HTC, that the One V will be running the uh, latest and greatest form of uh, and, uh, Android 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich. And we'll just verify that here by going into the settings. Uh, this is very much like the HTC Legend, but uh, we were all wondering whether or not this would come with HTC Sense 3.6, like the one on the Sensation, but as you can see, it is now confirmed that HTC Sense 4 is going to be running on this. This is a very uh, beta build, so not everything is um, is final. As you can see, there's a single core, one gigabyte, one gigahertz processor, 512 megs of RAM. We have a 3.7 inch WVGA non-pentile display. There's a five megapixel camera on the back, and uh, W um, Wi-Fi BGN. Uh, Bluetooth 4, which is the low power version of Bluetooth that comes with the uh, MacBook Air and the new iPad. So this is definitely something to look forward to. Um, and, and you can see everything is really, really smooth despite the single core processor. Um, let's go into the camera and let's try to snap some photos. So not quite as fast as the HTC One S and One X, but definitely um, up there, and you also have that ability to shoot uh, video and take a photo while you're shooting video. So, all those image sense features that uh, we weren't sure were coming to the One V are going to be here, and uh, we can definitely look forward to that. So, uh, let's go back to. Let's go into the settings here. You can see that uh, you can shoot an auto, HDR, panorama, and portrait. And let's take a look. You can see video quality goes up to a maximum of 720p. And you can adjust things like ISO, white balance, you can continue with shooting, and there are specific options for video as well. Uh, other features, we have Wi-Fi hotspot built in. Uh, we have the ability to create folders, just like you do in uh, the other ice cream sandwich builds. The new dock is present here with uh, the customizable uh, four bar dock. We have the horizontal screen drawer and uh, our uh, quick access to widgets and the tabs. So you can uh, go right on the screen there, tap down and uh, the new widget bar. You can scroll left and right on there. So definitely some uh, improvements to the overall software with the HTC One V, and this is coming soon to TELUS. Uh, also, just quickly before we go, everybody who signs up for, uh, for Dropbox on an HTC One phone will get a 25 gigabytes for two years of Dropbox service, and uh, that is uh, exclusive to HTC One devices. So this has been Daniel from Mobile Syrup. Thanks so much for watching. Just one more quick thing. Uh, I did notice that the multitasking menu is actually the regular ice cream sandwich menu as opposed to the new One uh, S One X uh, multitasking menu, which is horizontal. Uh, this does come with Beats um, support, so you do get that in the in all music players now, not just the HTC Audio player. And uh, you have a couple other other very interesting looking things uh, included here. So uh, this should be launching sometime in the coming uh, month or two. And uh, you can look forward to this for probably, if not zero dollars at launch, then at least under fifty dollars on a three year term. Uh, I'd say probably three ninety nine or three forty nine outright. So this is the HTC One V, and it's launching soon on Telus.